This is so summer of me to be doing right now. at an Airbnb in Alabama because there is a hurricane happening in Florida right now. So for the next few days, we're going to be here, hunkered down. I'm going to be reading a bunch of books. So this is like halfway a reading vlog. Wow. I'll just go get my books while you're running this We are only here for like two or three days and I brought a lot of books to get through. Obviously, we're not going through all these books, but these are like my TBR books. So let me show you them real quick. We're going to do a lot of reading while we're here. This is my whole TBR for like us being here in the few days that we will be here. So we'll see how many we get through. You ready to go? Let's hey go, Grandpa. Tammy, you have to shut up at some say point. Hi. Say, I want to say hi. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> hi, Lily. All right, you're heavy. I think we should do a little tour first of this Airbnb we're staying at, and then we're gonna go get some food, go to Walmart. Because my mom's gonna be cooking here tonight. We don't have anything with us except for like snacks. Let's do a tour. Hello everyone, welcome to the Airbnb tour. I always love doing these. We don't really go many places that often, but I always love doing a little Airbnb tour. So let me show you around. First off, when you first walk into the door, you have this little dining room table with a lot of games. Like, I really hope we play a lot of board games, but I will be reading half the time. So like, over here, it opens up into a literal huge living room. Hi, Whitney. Loving the fireplace, even though I'm probably scared to use that. A little island. Then you have over here the desk. Sit, Cammy. I meant Whitney, stop. Coffee station. <laughs> Tripping over my dogs as I'm doing this. Big kitchen. If I had a kitchen like this, I would actually want to cook low key. I guess I'll be a chef. That's fine. Laundry room. Nothing cool. I don't even want to go in there. Like, that's boring. Go. Even farther into the home. Over here, we have my brother and my sister. Don't they seem so lovely? Then over here, we have a bathroom through the hallway. Just a bathroom. Oh my god, these dogs are at my feet. This is where I will be basically like hanging out all day long living a life of luxury here. I might switch it up sometimes and sleep on the top one. I guess I can show you guys outside too. I'm taking y'all all over the place. Like I should have probably done this like in order. I keep running into you. You have to go quick so it doesn't come in here. This is the other big bedroom. Saderson over here. Fun fact, my dog and this dog try to claw each other's faces off and like bite each other. So they just live their lives apart. I love this. Can I get ready in here? This is a vibe. I'll show you outside, and then we'll be done with the tour. This is our little outdoor area. Little table. Reading out here is going to be so much fun. It is slightly raining, but we have a grill and a big backyard for the dogs to play in. And that's the tour of the Airbnb. This is where we're going to be for the next, like, two or three days. So, let's head out to the store now and go get some food so that we can make some dinner. shopping trip. I'm going to give you guys a quick haul and then they're going to make dinner. I'm going to read my book. It's just going to be like cozy vibe. First and foremost, I got these shoes at Walmart because I wanted to go on a run and I forgot my running shoes at home. So I got some running shoes. Got this little strawberry shortcake shirt. Thought it was cute. I love shirts that like sit at this length. And then we went to this place called Pop Shell. First, I got this adjustable desktop mount. I thought that I could like use this to film my little TikToks. I want to start filming TikToks more. So and then I got this because my cabin is famous for like not having any AC and being like deathly hot. So this little fan. It's also supposedly like a quiet fan. So we'll see if that's actually quiet like while I'm filming and stuff. But I need a fan for the cabin in this one list. It was five bucks. I got 
two different claw clips. I hope my camera's focusing, but small little claw clip. I have one in my hair right now. And then when we went to Aldi, I got this strawberry mint peach. It's some sort of like sparkling drink. Is that focusing? I got blue light glasses, which I'm wearing right now. I've been commenting about like getting bad migraines and headaches literally every time I stare at a screen. So I finally got some blue light glasses again. My other one's broke. So these are pretty cute. I think, let's try this drink together. Let's see. It's a lot of fizz happening. Three, two, one. I literally don't taste anything except for strawberry, so. But for a little book update, I'm gonna start Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. I'm really excited to get into this one. It has something to do with newlyweds are searching for a house of their dreams. Stuck in this house because there's a storm happening. This girl, Trisha, happens upon a secret room. It contains audio transcripts from every single patient Dr. Hale has ever interviewed. It sounds really fun. And also on my Kindle, I'm currently reading Funny Story by Emily Henry, so I'll probably like switch back and forth. I'm gonna like sit outside or something and start reading Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. sit here and explain this book a little bit more to you guys because I don't think that I really did a great job with that. I'm a little farther into the book now. I am on chapter five currently. I should have brought my bookmarks, but I didn't. I'm one of those girls that will literally find anything to be a bookmark. So at some point, one of these like bracelets are going to end up coming off and becoming a bookmark at some point. I just want to tell you guys exactly what this book is about. Basically, they're newlyweds. They're searching for a house to live in. They end up visiting this like remote house. Basically, a house that's in the middle of nowhere. Basically, this old doctor. I think it's a psychiatrist old house. So, and he vanished without a trace four years ago. At some point, Trisha is going to be uncovering audio files of some sort and listening to them. And like, you're going to learn things about probably not only his disappearance, but also like some lies that have occurred in the past because this book starts out by basically explaining that should never lie and how Trisha will literally always figure out if you're lying no matter what. I'm a little nervous. The only thing that's like helping me right now because I am like a high anxiety girly so like it's very difficult for me to be reading like thriller mystery horror books. Like I do have anxiety and like nervous at all times and I don't like to heighten those feelings ever but it is like daytime. It's light outside so I'm feeling all the vibes. Like I'm feeling great posing up with a book outside sitting on the porch. Um it only has 336 pages. Like I should be able to get through this very fast. I feel like I'm already flying through it. I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm going to continue reading Never Lie by Freedom McFadden. Having a good time out here, okay? These are all of the vibes that I needed. I'm just going to treat this as like a reading getaway and like not think about the fact that there is a hurricane headed to my literal house. Back to my book though. the best vibes ever. This is so just summer of me to be doing right now. I'm sitting outside. I have a literal like bucket of watermelon that I'm going to be snacking on for sure. And I have my book. This is such cutesy vibes. I'm already like halfway through my book. I've been doing nothing but reading. Look how good that looks. For an update, it is currently 7.30 right now on the dot. Look at what I'm looking at because the sunset is so pretty also. It's really pretty. Not really doing it justice on camera if I'm being completely honest, but I am going to be sitting here, snacking on some watermelon, finishing my book. I think my mom's about to start on some dinner inside. We're having stuffed peppers. Like this is just the vibes that I want, okay? That's about it. I'm about to read. <laughs> saying first of all i'm about to share some spoilers i guess or just like thoughts that i'm obviously thinking about this book so if you have not read this book yet skip forward to this time that's about to show up on the screen because i don't want to spoil the book for you but i think i know how it's going to end okay now that all the people who are okay with spoilers and are okay with you know hearing about this book and probably have read it before is ethan ej keeps referring to him as like this really nice guy like he's super kind like she hit the husband jackpot like she continuously keeps pushing this narrative of he's amazing and perfect 
perfect in every way and I'm like not everyone's perfect okay and then you go to POV of the doctor and the doctor is getting blackmailed by this guy named EJ I feel like EJ is a nickname for Ethan it's just it's confusing me and I'm almost a thousand percent sure that Ethan is EJ I don't know if I'm right yet like I'm pretty sure Ethan is EJ but it's also like I don't know for sure because I don't know why the author would make Ethan EJ. I don't know I don't see how this would all correlate or come together so obviously I have to keep reading to find out but it's like I, think I know the plot twist the major plot twist everyone talks about like I I think I know but I'm gonna keep reading to see how it actually turns out I don't really read like thriller or mystery books so like every time I do end up reading books with a mystery in them I always have to give you like what I think is going to occur to see if I was correct and also document it either I'm gullible or like I do know what I'm talking about. It's getting pretty late and I'm just gonna sit out here for the rest of the night and read and then go in there, eat some dinner, and read some more. <laughs> finished Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. I guess I'm normally a fast reader, just not like this fast of a reader. I don't think that like I can really voice my opinions on this book. I'm gonna give this an obvious five stars, but take what I'm saying with a grain of salt because like I don't read a lot of thrillers or mysteries or anything like that. Okay, the hunch that I had and like the theory that I shared with you guys was incorrect. That whole spoiler section of the video wasn't even really a spoiler because I was just completely wrong, like dead wrong, could not be more wrong in my life. I now understand the hype with Frieda McFadden, okay? This is a five star book. chug some of this before I go. Um, I did want to talk to you about my book. I don't know where my Kindle went, but I am currently reading Funny Story. I think I'm like 52% into it now, and it's pretty good so far. Here's my Kindle. I honestly didn't read that much this morning because my Kindle was like glitching and not turning on. So that was like my 13th reason, and then I decided to just read on my phone, and then by the time that happened, I was like, it's just time to go on a run. I am going to pick out another book today, so let's do that real quick before I go on my own. This is my stack of books that you guys have already seen. I think next I want to read Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan. I just got this book and everyone's raving about this book right now. I want to see what the hype is about. And it might be our final read of the video. I have too many updates. I'm so sorry. While I'm on my run or like slash walk, I'm going to be listening to an audiobook. I don't know why I have as many books going at the same time, but I'm listening to Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Honestly, it's really good. It has something to do with like a bank heist, but like obviously it's like a lens into all of the people. It's a bank heist that turns into a hostage situ situation. Jeez, can I speak? And basically, it's just going through like all of the people's like thoughts that were happening while this was occurring and then it also goes to the police interviews which is like no one's sharing anything in the police interviews right now. i don't know it's really good so far i'm on chapter 21 we'll see i, I probably won't finish this in this vlog but i've been enjoying the book and i've been taking it slowly on that note let's go out on our run okay So then 
chapter 23 of this audiobook. I'm like laughing out loud at this. This is so funny. Let me play part of it for you. Because it's just hilarious. Like what? There's a perfectly logical reason why you think it's spelled that way. Oh? It's because of the simple fact that you are an idiot. <laughs> what is happening in these police interviews? It's so hilarious. Every single one of the people who are getting interviewed are just so funny. I need to like see what my outfit actually looks like. Is this cute? Is this outfit eating? For lack of a better term? I don't know. I literally have to stand on the bathroom so I can see it because they don't have a full length mirror here. <laughs> Alright, anyways, that is my makeup all complete. I think the only thing I'm gonna do, I might do some lipstick. I don't really do lipstick like that, but I'm feeling like fun today. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god. Let's see what my hair's looking like. <sighs> a mess as per usual. That's bad. Okay. I think this is the look for today. And then whenever I'm staring at my computer or my Kindle, I'm obsessed with these glasses. I really hope it helps my like migraines because whenever I stare at a screen, I get really bad migraines and like, and also my eyes like burn. And I got a comment on my YouTube channel. It was like, hey, you should try blue light glasses. That's about all I have for updates. I'm gonna just continue listening to Anxious People on audiobook and I'm gonna eat my breakfast and start Summer Romance. I'm just having a great time reading books, relaxing, like this is perfect. How can I be proud? I want to get to know you Spreading something with you Come inside and settle in I just filmed a bunch of TikToks, okay? Like, I have been on my TikTok grind recently. Go follow my TikTok, by the way. I'm about to start Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan. Literally could not be more excited to start this book. I have heard nothing but good things, and it's also a short book, so I'm like, I should be able to fly through this. The way I'm reading, like, three books at one time is really stressing me out. We're not gonna dwell on that. I don't think I told you guys about Funny Story or what it's about. I can never hear myself speak when I have my AirPods in, and I fear that I, like, scream talk half the time, and I am in a neighborhood now so like i can't be scream talking right now it's just not normal for that to be occurring especially scream talking about books god forbid the neighbors are out and hearing me anyways i don't think i explained funny story to you guys so i obviously we all know i love emily henry's writing like she is one of my favorite authors of all time she's what got me into reading so i already have a soft spot in my heart for emily henry but like her books are so good okay like i always feel like emily henry's female leads aren't annoying like i feel like emily henry puts a lot of emotion into each of her characters and like think that i really enjoy that because a lot of romance books like they make characters to be one-dimensional and I'm like, no, we're multifaceted. Like people can have multiple emotions at a time. People can have like multiple things occurring in their life other than just the romance. I keep forgetting like characters' names, which is really annoying because like that's one thing I shouldn't be doing. I think his name is Miles, right? His name is Miles. Oh my God. See, sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Daphne's fiance just broke up with her and like got with his best friend, like his lifelong best friend named Petra. And then obviously Daphne's going through all of this like heartbreak and whatever. She ends up moving in with Miles, who is Petra's ex-boyfriend. It's a very funny story. God. So yeah, it's a love story between Daphne and Miles, but I love how Emily Henry's books don't just feel like a romance book. Like it has so many added layers. Can't you go on Goodreads and figure out what you, like your Kindle highlights of some sort? I'll read you a few quotes from Funny Story because I don't think I'm going to finish Funny Story in this vlog. One of the quotes I highlighted said, life I'd learned is a revolving door. Most things that come into it only stay a while. This next quote really explains like how Emily Henry's writing style is because she is very like not really descriptive, but on things that matter she gets really descriptive and like way she I guess like relates things i don't know what it's called there's some kind of like literary like thing that it's called i don't know this one says until that moment i'd carried my life like a handkerchief knapsack at the end of a broom handle what and then it continues on to kind of explain it more it says something small and containable i could pick up and move at the drop of a hat and i never knew what it was i was running from or to until he said it home the word stoked an ember in my chest the word stoked an ember in my chest what? It says, I love talking to people I already know, but when I meet someone new, half the time my mind goes blank, and the other half of the time I make a joke that absolutely no one realizes is a joke, or I ask something way too personal. I like, story of my life, okay? 
Anyways, guys, this wind does not play. I'm about to start Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan. Honestly, we'll not finish this book in the vlog either, but I hopefully we'll get through a lot of it. We have like a three hour car ride back home and I think we're leaving, we're leaving today. Funny story, okay? Not talking about the book this time. Not really funny, actually. Someone robbed our beach house. So that's always fun. They literally like covered the camera with a t-shirt and that was all happening last night while I was reading. It's also another issue because my dad is on a trip right now, like a separate trip from us. So it's like, great, great. Like when a hurricane or storm happens and like you have to evacuate, that means that like the people who don't have to evacuate end up knowing the houses are empty and they rob the houses. So that's what occurred. Anyways, time to start Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan. It says, it's no secret that I'm more than a little stuck. I'm in a holding pattern, like a plane trying to land in too much fog. Discovery, there is a treadmill so I'm bringing all of my books with me because I don't know I don't know if I want to listen to an audiobook read a book or read on my Kindle I don't know what the vibes are gonna be but there's a treadmill so I've changed I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill and read a book mm -hmm. 